You gonna go uh, skating? Yeah, I'm gonna skate. I need to wake up. Crazy disappeared with his girl, bro. I don't know where he is. Oh man, I've been replaced. I'm addicted to skating. I guess because there's like adrenaline involved. A little morning send. Nothing for the soul. How do you just wake up and do this? I think I'm awake enough. Did you have your fix? I had my fix. I've been skating every morning recently because it just makes me be that much more alert throughout my day. I can go up on curbs and just come off like, watch out, bro. Ooh, first try. Yeah. Alright. Now let's have a good f***ing day. Dude, it's delicious. Waffles and ice cream. Second best way to start your day. Wanna know what the first one is? Skateboarding? No, that's the third. I don't know, what's the first? I haven't been able to do the first for like three months. Ah. Uh, where are your f***ing, bro? I'm just, bro? I'm just trying to eat, bro. Stop filming me. <laughs> Everything I do, bro. Does it make me happy? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <laughs> come on, come on. It's f***ing delicious, right? <laughs> you don't even need to wash it anymore, you just wash it. Exactly, dude, saving time. Yeah. I'll cut some cloud couch. I've been wanting to sit on that thing for a while, man. I'm gonna take the first seat. Okay, I'm wrapped. <laughs> Try not just assing out every time you sit on this. There's no way I'm gonna fall asleep on this every single time I sit down on it. This is our funky couch. It's funky. Oh. Your roommate. You gonna cry, bro? I don't know, bro. Could, could be. Bro, we like, we're so those we're friends that just get so hyped together. We haven't seen Ryan in like a year. Dude, we've, we've just been through so much shit together. Every time one of us is going through something, the other one's always going through it. Like, we're always like on the same page. It's just like, that's what we always say, he's like our triplet. But dude, I'm so f***ing pumped for him to be here. Like, we all just kind of like, went through a really difficult time in our lives, and we just overcame it all at the same time. It makes me feel like the most confident version of me when I'm around him, because he's just like, I don't know, you know what I mean? You have, you have, you have those friends that just do that to you. It's a nice guest room. <laughs> just boxes. He doesn't care. Alright, let's go. He's at the airport. He's gonna land in like 30. Dude, let's go! I had a dream. You know when you have a dream and then you f***ing wake up? Dude, get the f***ing camera out of my face. And then I woke up from the dream and, and then I looked at her and I was like, shit man, like f***ing real life is better than that dream. Were you filming the whole time? Yeah, I was. Oh god! <laughs> Oh. Grayson's softening it up. No, it's good though, because Logan's gonna see this and he's gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna f him up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, speaking of, dude, Ryan is supposed to be Grayson's wrestling coach. Yeah. That was the reason why he was moving in originally. Now it might just be for fun because Logan's not trying to wrestle, I guess. Yeah. Whatever. If it's not this, is the next thing. We'll figure something out. Either way, Ryan's f***ing amazing vibes and I'm so pumped to see him. Yeah. I don't know, for the longest time, Gray and I were weird with like weird with having friends because we felt like people were like trying to use us and stuff. Because it happened so many it, times. It did happen a lot. And then also our family was like, be careful of people trying to use you and shit. I feel like we come from a really paranoid family, to be honest. Yeah. So th that was just kind of instilled in my mind from like a young age and like obviously it happened too. Like that's my decision. It's, it, I've worked for what I have, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So, and it makes me happy, so that's how it is. And I don't believe anyone around me is hanging around me for those reasons. You have to take it day by day. Like if you feel like someone is hanging around you for the wrong reasons, you part ways. We've known Ryan since we were what? Eight years old. Pull up a picture for proof. Bro, we've known each other so since we were sm small mofos. It's eighth grade. Like we were so afraid of other people being out to get us that I, I, I was so secluded and such a hermit and so alone that I was just out to get myself. I just started trying to tear myself down because I had no supportive energy around me to tell me like, hey, you're, like, you're doing good things. So that's what I'm saying. You need friends and I've come to that conclusion. Therefore, we're having a friend move in for I have no, I don't know how long. <laughs> Good, bro. Good job. Mm. Dude, I'm f here. Dude, I'm so hype. Oh my god. Bro, the whole plane ride, I was just shaking, like grinning the whole fing time. Especially <laughs> the last 30 minutes, I'm like, Jesus. Bro, so how, how are things going with her? Serious? Bro, like, getting yeah, serious are, quick? They, they got serious quick, bro. That's nuts. But I'm like, it's I'm like, Dude, I know. <laughs> Welcome. Hell yes. Dude, I love it. Oh yeah. You motherfucker 
having private conversations about our childhood. Oh, we got a story on our Hershey trip in fifth grade. No, eighth grade. Eighth so we got to go to Hershey Park. It was a sleepover trip, and we roomed together. The whole entire teaching staff was shook. Bro, we had, we had a security in front of the door just to make sure we couldn't get out. And then we were like, we were up to no good. We were on, we were on FaceTime with these girls that we met at Hershey Park that yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. May or may not, dude. I, I don't even know if it's legal to say, but we were fourteen, but whatever. Our our teachers are banging on the banging on the door at three in the morning, and I hang up on on, on, on FaceTime. We want to answer really go. I was like, I was like, who is it? He's like, oh, Dolan Tigrolli. You guys are doing in there, and it's very illegal. I'm gonna even come in right now and speak to all of you. When the gym teacher came in, we all pretended to be asleep. <laughs> I and Ryan and I were very much awake. Very much awake. It was bad, bro. Yeah. Middle school was middle school was bad because of us. Now we're in Los Angeles, California together. <laughs> stop, stop fucking filming, bro. We're about to talk about illegal. It's ruining my fucking life, bro. Made me locked up, dude. See, you know what? Your best, best friend is so into bro. My, fr my best friend just lands here and just gonna stick the fucking camera in our face, Mondo. Jeez. Bro, let us have a best friend. All right, all right. I'll put it down. I'll put it down. Oh! Sexy mode, you got it. Get sexy with it. Get sexy with it. It's not like you just bust it, bro. No way the failure feels good, bro. It's it feels good. Type of shit, dude. Feels good for him. Oh, fuck this. Oh, hell yeah. <coughs> That's a good feeling, man. Alright, everyone touch toes and let's hold it for 30 seconds. Last time Ryan was here, we were like really mentally unhealthy. Mm -hmm. And. We were kind of just like taking ourselves down and each other at the same time. We, we, all, we all eating disorders, but like now we're... Dude, we were, it was only like self-harm. And now we're working on self-care in every way. It's crazy. Bro, I just had a flashback of you laying like that on, on Alex's bed on Facebook, texting your fifth grade girlfriend. Oh. That's exactly how you used to lay. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Remember when you guys logged into my account and you found a... Uh, of like a voice memo that I sent her and it was like, I love you, like I miss you, like something like that. You made fun of me endlessly. <laughs> I was envious of you because you had a girlfriend bro, and you were fucking like nine. <laughs> I, know. I thought this shit was so cool. Dude. When you hugged her at the fucking what's it called? You hugged her. You was the you was the first kid I to hug a girl. I was so nervous to even see her and like talk to her like at all. Like Do you remember that having a girlfriend in sixth grade and not talking to them all, at all? Christian told me that I should date Danielle and I was like, bro, I don't know, I don't even know her. But he gave me her number so I asked her out. And she said yes on a fucking Friday night, and on, <laughs> on Monday morning, I woke up extra early and I was like, I'm gonna see her at school, and I fucking broke up with her on the way to school. <laughs> and then you gave and her I a hug. Her, and Jeez. Mrs. Sheets was like, Oh, Dolan, you're so nice. And I was like, I broke her heart. I feel awful. And Ethan fucking nailed when the I, guy with the tennis racket. Bro, we were at gym class, and I hit him in the face with a tennis racket by accident, and he just cut his fucking eye open. <laughs> you fucking came running through the hallways, laughing, covered in blood. You were smiling, and I was like, bro, what happened? You're like, he hit me in the face with a tennis racket, but I get to go home early. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we didn't give a fuck. Bro, I literally feel like I'm in Jersey right now. Bro, we're fucking back, and we're not, like, dude, we're actually back. I don't know what God's reason was, but, like, why, like, right now, it's just more oh, nice. And everything in my own life has come together, bro. Me too, dude. I mean, even just, like, not that I have everything figured out by any means, but, like, bro, even just, like, figuring out, like, just how to prioritize things. Just... The maturity that I've gained in the last year, I think, is like the biggest part of like why this is bro, the way it is now. It's like cool to accept that life is never gonna be figured out. Bro, we all were just talking about how we didn't know why we were in it. Bro, like, I think it's safe to say that like a large percentage of people have had it. Yeah. And we were never to, able to relate to that. And like, people that I meet in the future, I'll be able to help now. And that's why. Yeah. That's why we had it. Even though we didn't know why we started it, that's why we fing went through it. I can't make thinking, sense of it because I like myself so much more now. I know. And I was afraid of ever like looking like Bro, this. Or I was just afraid thinking. of looking like the way I look now. I, I like myself so much more. Me too. I was afraid to look like I look right now. Tomorrow's the weekend. We're having a California ass day for your first day back, bro. Let's do it. We used to have sleepovers when we were little in the fucking hot tub. God, we would fuck the hot tub, bro. God. <laughs> when, you put the, when you put it on jet, dude. No, you can't. You can, you can, but you shouldn't. You shouldn't, but you could. <laughs> if you <laughs> wanted to. Do a tutorial, like a how to. Right? <laughs> In the hole, bro? And it, um, jet, and it would, <laughs> it would blast out. And then, God, what, what the fuck? 
fuck were we doing, bro? We did do it when everyone, all of us were in the hospital. <laughs> yeah, we did. We did. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's the price. It's fine. It's, it always heals. No, I'm totally fine, but bro, I fucked the tat, bro. No, you can heal. You can heal and redo it, bro. It's easy. I was so ready with my hands in front, bro, and the fucking tat just touched. No, it's a fresh tat. That sucks. Gonna need a touch up. Damn it, dude. Is it good that it's not on your arm? I think the tat's gonna be fine. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks for being so caring. <laughs> It's so funny when you're just sitting. <laughs> Do the bloody roll. Holy sh! So many band aids on me. Like band aids. Wait, hang on. Wait till you see all these band aids I got on my other arm. Oh, that one's so cute. I know. Look at these. <laughs> Can you bite these off for me? Yeah, rip them. Put a strip on your chest here and rip it. <laughs> oh, I got some. <laughs> oh my god. I need that wax strip on your ass cheeks. I need one on my asshole. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Thank you. It's the nicest thing you've ever said. Oh, uh, I forgot about this one. Which one? My hip. I think I got one on my asshole. Can you check? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Do I have one? Oh Yeah. Mono, yesterday he did that to me on FaceTime and he had two of the papers. Right, you don't need to go there. You don't need to go there. What <laughs> toilet paper? It was fucking, uh. I was sitting on my. I was sitting on a rug. Naked. <laughs> I miss you so much. I hate this. Ugh. I want them back. You can go, bro. I'm just trying to have a private conversation with my girlfriend, alright? Oh, no. Get that thing the fuck out of here. Look at him. He's just gonna follow me around. <laughs> hey. Grayson said it answer my phone. <laughs> Maybe it's because my exams are going to it! Are you serious? <laughs> I can come to LA. Wait, when when can you come to LA? I can come to LA on the 30th of September in two weeks. Bro. Oh. <laughs> yes! yes! Oh my god. I was literally crying when I got the email. I was like, Mom. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe like give you a kiss or something right now. <laughs> 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 my heart's r holy f is racing. When did you find out? How long have you been keeping this a secret? He's like, holy sh my heart is racing. <laughs> right, I'm sorry. It's monotone f Bro, it's 1 a.m. <laughs> Life just got amazing today. Yeah, crazy is that, yeah. I know, can you believe it? <laughs> I think a tear just came out. I'm not even getting it. No, it didn't. Yeah, it did. You, you should, bro, come on. Feel it, it's wet. They said I have Hey, I ain't even mad. At least? That's Christmas time! Yeah! Two weeks! Oh my god. Okay, I'll just Hey, we'll, we'll figure everything out, alright? Oh, I love you so much. I love you so much. <laughs> Dude, Mother's tearing up! Mother's crying, bro! Oh no, not even, bro. There you are, you're the nicest oh, fucking even person even in the world. <laughs> Why are you the nicest person in the world? <laughs> Nailed it when you said that he's just trying to fill a void, bro. Because yeah, the thing is, like, he's rushed into a relationship four times in the past month. I'm not even kidding you, month. Gray's like trying to be combative with us and like prove us wrong. I don't know why. I don't understand it. It doesn't make any sense. Dude, the thing is, like, he, he does. He loves so hard. That's his downfall. That's down good, call. dude. It, that's, a, that's a good way to be, but it's also a shame. It's a good way to be to a specific person, not just anybody. Exactly. Yes. A lot of things need to add up in order to make a healthy relationship. Yeah. A relationship cannot be rushed. Even a friendship can't be rushed, dude. Yeah. They can all get toxic. Yeah, without a doubt. He, he even said it in front of her. He's like, 
yeah, dude, I just like the idea of having a family again is like what what I want and stuff. And it's like, bro, you need to take the. Idea. It's tough, bro. It's 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 inexplainable. We both have suffered the same trauma, but. He's dealing with it a completely different way than I am. That's exactly what I said this morning on the walk, bro. Like, we're not the same person. No, you're twins, but you're not the same person. Dude. When I can't relate to Grayson, you're it not gets, mentally the same it person. It gets so confused. Bro, I'm so happy you're here because if I was dealing with myself, I would go crazy. Grayson and I would be fighting. Like, mm -hmm. I'm gonna do what I do best when I'm stressed, and I'm gonna eat this burger. Eat this burger. I'm gonna burger. eat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, they're both just in a place of discomfort, and they're trying to like, they're both just trying to fill a void. Like, you can't fault someone for making an emotional decision when they're like mm -hmm. the most emotional that they've ever been in their lives. Mm -hmm. Come on, Gray, I love you, bro. I just want you back. For real, it's been like 24 hours that I feel like Grayson has been gone. Like if we're like, bro, that's not the right decision. He's gonna just do it's reverse psychology with him. If there's he's something, do it a million times harder to try to prove us wrong that it is right. He just doesn't want. He just wants someone to be wronger. He's the fucking best person in the world. Like we know that. Like yeah, no. There's no one more caring than fucking Dude, Grayson Dolan. It was like when you know who said that you had a better personality than him and he got to prove you wrong and tell you that he had a better personality than you and then ended in you getting thrown down the stairs and me getting thrown down the stairs <laughs> because a girl told him that you had a better personality than him. I ended up getting thrown down the stairs. <laughs> How does that happen? He's, when a, we reverse, were, when he's we were, a reverse psychologist. When we were in fifth grade, we all had a crush on the same girl and we all asked her out and she said that I had the best personality so she, oh, she said no to all of us. Yeah. <laughs> But she said that I had the best personality out of all of us. And you were the one that she would date if she were to date one of us, but she still didn't want to. Yeah, and then so uh, Grayson asked Ryan and Ryan's brother if I, I actually had a better personality. And they were just like, I'm not going to like answer that. I'm not picking sides. And he th threw us all down the stairs. <laughs> Bro, because I know when this is all said and done and he looks back on it, he's going to laugh his ass off. He does it every time. Every time. But like... Bro, lost, catch it, lost bites you in the ass two years later. Yeah. Like a year and a half later. I, I heard a bunch of stuff about that. Like I was listening to a podcast, and it was like, like for the first year, like I was just really sad and like just lost and stuff. But like, it, like two years later, it starts biting me in the ass because I started acting like someone I didn't know. This one guy said, "Babe, Grayson just broke up with." I mean, she sent him a text, kind of breaking up with him first, but like she just was hesitant. So he, I guess he saw it as like, okay, it's it's over. Bro, I just hope by tomorrow he can laugh this. Shit, but I think he, he will. will. He'll he'll be yeah. laughing this. I'll be laughing tonight, bro. Bro, we all, all three of us need to have a sleepover on the couch, yes. like in sixth grade, yeah, sixth grade and bro. be laughing this shit off. Yes. You were all like sitting down, like just talking about like what he really wants in like a relationship and stuff like that, and try and find clarity. Like people, people, like because everyone knows who Grayson is, and I think people are starting to get the wrong idea of him. Like, why would he do such a thing? You wouldn't. Yeah. It didn't happen. Yeah. All right. We'll do. Love you. Try to say. All right. Love you. Give him one. <laughs> Ryan, give him one. Come here, baby. <laughs> I'm all fucked up, man. I know. Nah, we, talked about it. we talked about it. We talked about it. We talked about it in the car. I know, bro. Bro, you, you needed to have your space to, like, to, to figure out what the root of the problem was, you know? I it, it was trauma. It was a void. It wasn't anything else. I cried more for that. I did fucking. I don't think I ever in my life. Dude, that's. Good. But I hate hearing that. What wasn't good was I was on the highway. I couldn't see. <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> I pulled off like this, bro. With my fucking face in my shit. I can't understand a word you're saying. Because I didn't want fucking somebody to take a picture of me crying my eyes out. Oh, he's like my dad right now, fishing through shit, eating while he's trying to talk. <laughs> bro, I didn't eat all fucking day. Greg. <laughs> bro, bro, he, he bro, bro, I was trying to tell him how dad was. I was like, I was like, he's crazy. Like, he's crazy. <laughs> bro, I feel like a person connected with this. Person, I don't know what the f I am. Where are we? Bro, I haven't known where the f I've been for the past 24 hours. I haven't known for the past six months. I still tomorrow, I'm gonna go back to fucking square one. You guys, you guys were both trying to fill a void. And it's pretty apparent. You just have to say, listen, I think we're both trying to fill a void. And we both rushed into it too much. It's totally okay that it didn't work. Like, this stuff, that stuff happens. Like, like dude, stop! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm trying, bro. I'm trying to be a good guy. I feel like a dick. Bro, don't really know dick. dick. I'm gonna feel like a dick all fucking dick. night, all week! Alright, group hug, guys. I guess I'm sad, too, then. It's really sad. We love Grace. We love you, Greg. We love you. Hey, dude. Bro, bro, you Cause have, I don't know what to do. I get too lonely. No, you have had, Grace, bro, you're not, you've had lack of family. Guess no, what? No, guess, guess what? what? You're you have a new, family. you have a new fucking brother in the house. Family, you family. have a new roommate. Bro, I he's always know. here. And this motherfucker is always here filming. There's nothing we can do about it. But he's always there. <laughs> <laughs> you 
have us now. There's no more being lonely. Bro, you're not fucking lonely. Don't ever fucking say that yeah, again, bro. You got us, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yo, we gotta get we gotta get milkshakes. Yeah! yeah! I'm gonna get my more chocolate this time. <laughs> the chocolateist. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I need a more. I need a more strawberry or one. <laughs> you want a strawberry? I need more, more strawberry. I'll, I'll have another strawberry one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you send that to Christina? <laughs>